I thought I would do another haul because I had so many nice comments about the last few that I've done and I don't know I guess I kind of understand the appeal of doing shopping hauls and watching them because I like knowing what people buy too and where good deals are at so I don't mind doing them if I have the time which I do right now so we went clothes shopping today and what originally was supposed to be just for me to get new jeans kind of turned into a little bit more because it's President's Day. So there are a lot of good deals out. So we went to our local mall and we got some stuff first. We went to, well, I won't do any of this in order, but we went to American Eagle and I finally found some jeans that fit me. And I know what you guys are, like so a lot of you have been commenting saying, oh my gosh, you're so skinny. Um, it shouldn't be too hard for you to find jeans, but I hate shopping for jeans. My husband felt the same way as you guys, which is like, oh, well, it can't be that bad. Now he knows why it's so hard for me. Because I'm skinny, um, yes I do fit into a lot of jeans, but sometimes I'm either too skinny or I'm right on the brink of being too big. So it's like loose in the hips or loose in the thigh or loose in my butt. And not only that, because I'm 5'3", I'm really short, it's, I can't find jeans that are short and are long enough for me. They're either a little bit too short or way too long. So. I went to American Eagle because their sizes are constantly changing. I used to work there for many, many years when I was younger, so I was very familiar with their clothes. But their lengths in the artist jeans, which is what I usually wear, have like, I don't know, they've gone up and down over the past few years. Like the pants that I fit into two years are nowhere like the ones that, <laughs> you know, came out this year. So I decided to just try them again even though they were too short from two years ago and I found some that actually fit me. So I got two pairs in the Artist uh, Super Stretch, the Classic Medium Wash. I got two of those with a skinny flare because one of them is a size regular and one of them is a size short. And I did this so that I would have a pair to be able to wear with high heels or peeled boots and then one pair to wear with like flip flops or flats because I really like to wear ballet flats or chucks um, and then I got the artist soft deep blue wash in uh, the super stretch in a regular so that I could wear them as kind of like dressy jeans and then I also got the skinny medium warm dark wash in a low rise because I like skinny jeans so I got four pairs of jeans they were all ten dollars off today because of President's Day and then I also got another 15% off of my whole purchase on top of that I also got two tank tops they're exactly the same just different colors I like this like worn kind of um, I don't know what kind of dye that is but I got two of them an extra small one of them is an olive green and the other one is like a dark blacky gray and they're like loose fitted tank tops and I like to wear those under a cardigan and they're great for nursing because they lift up really easily and then my husband got some boxer briefs they were five for 25 um or sorry four what were they john three for 25 sorry guys underwear is a lot more expensive than girls underwear i just like to say that he got some athletic trunk ones and then he also got some performance trunk which they're like a wicking fabric so that's fun. And then from American Eagle, we moved on to Gap. Gap, I love Gap. Um, not necessarily for myself, but for my husband and my kids, only because they have really good deals. I also used to work at Gap. Um, I love their company. They're very, very good to their workers and all of that, so I don't mind shopping there. All of this stuff was, I think, 190 something dollars full price. We got everything for $72 and then we had a $40 gift card so we only spent $30 something dollars on all of this for John. He's a size large so we got these two really soft cotton uh, zip up hoodies. One in a like a navy kind of gray like a heather navy gray and then a heather gray heather. Um, and then also a darker heather gray uh, polo which he really likes these kind of polos they look nice and fit nice. And then also a non iron button up that is like a slim fit so it's really I don't know how to explain it but they're really really nice it's like a purple plaid and blue I don't know if you can see that but like I said these hoodies were $50 full price and they're on sale for $18.97 plus an extra 25% off for President's Day so they were $14.23 hoodie hoodie this would have been the uh, button-up shirt which is originally $60 as you can see it was on sale for $40 
for $39.99 and then it was also on sale again for $20.96 or sorry $18.73 after the $6.24 discount for President's Day and then the polo was originally $26.95 and it was on sale with the President discount and it was $20.96 so actually the polo was the most expensive thing out of all of this but like I said we got it all for $30 something dollars so that was a pretty good deal um, like I said if you go into the clearance section of Gap for the guys and the girls they always have really good deals at the end of season which is when we do most of our shopping so that was John's buys for this day and then we went to JCPenney and I got some shoes I really wanted a pair of Tom's but I really I know that they do a give one and get one kind of thing and I am totally behind that but we went to the shoe store and I was about to buy the gray Tom's for $50 and John almost beat up the little punk that was trying to sell us shoes <laughs> So we left that store, but we ended up going to JCPenney and I found these and they look almost exactly, I'll tell, okay, John wants me to tell you why so he doesn't seem like a unreasonable person, which he wasn't being unreasonable. He basically was trying to tell, I'll, here, he basically was trying to convince John that, what was he saying to you? I didn't like the shoes. Oh, he didn't like, he didn't. <laughs> He didn't like the shoes that the guy was trying to sell him. Sorry, I look like poo because my makeup's running and I haven't washed my hair since my haircut. But he was trying to sell my husband shoes after my husband didn't like the shoes. He said he didn't like them. And this like 20 something year old, my husband's almost, oh, he's, he's almost 38 you know he's trying to like tell my husband and convince him that these are the shoes he should get because they don't make any other different shoes and these are the best he's gonna find anywhere and he just kept pushing and pushing and it was just like I'm surprised my husband didn't punch him in the face because he was annoying he was definitely annoying and it was at a store that I used to be a manager of so I just kind of sat there and just shook my head because it was just bad so we left and did not buy those shoes which I'm happy we didn't even though I totally support Tom's like what they're doing but we found these shoes instead for $30 at JCPenney which I thought was a pretty good deal and they fit and feel the same exact um, as the Toms that I tried on so these were $30 from JCPenney I also got these little flats they kind of are like a velvety fabric but I really like ballet flats and these were on clearance for $17 and then these wedges, which I love wedges, are actually made out of like a black linen. Like the feeling is like a linen pant feeling. But they're black and these were I think 40 Which these were a splurge for me because they were full price. But I don't wear heels anymore even though I have tons of them. Because obviously I'm a mom and I have nowhere to wear them. So these are a little bit more casual and I really want to start dressing up again. So... I thought these would be cute with skinny jeans. And then last but not least, sorry this video is going on for so long, we went to Forever 21 and I'm realizing that I am getting too old for, 20, for Forever 21. Kelly's no longer Forever 21, she's 26 and admitting it out loud right now. <laughs> because I really didn't have that many things there that I actually really liked and that's okay but it's just sad because that means I'm getting old. But. Um, but we found this sweater this really nice lady found it because I couldn't find it anywhere and I wanted it It only had a size large, but she found me a small. It's like a three-quarter length um, Just like a knit striped shirt because you guys know I'm obsessed with stripes And then I just got a tank top to wear underneath it. That's like two dollars and eighty cents um, So that's it for our haul um, like I said I'm pretty disappointed that I no longer like the same things or same stores that I like or maybe the stores are outgrowing me but I just you know I'm just I don't know it's harder to find clothes now for my age but that's all we did like I said we don't usually spend this much on clothes in one outing but we got really great deals on everything and I am just really happy that I finally found pants that fit me so we did save a ton of money which is super exciting like I said you know forever 21 I think I spent 15 16 dollars there American Eagle, we saved, I believe, $42 there today. And then my shoes, two of them were on sale, one of them on clearance for $17. And then, of course, on John's stuff, we saved over $100, $110, I think, altogether. So, yeah, that was our haul, and I think that's all we got. I got my hair cut. It doesn't look very good right now because it just got cut. Like, I probably should take a shower because all my hair is still, like, falling out as I talk. But um, I got a lot of it cut off. Like, I know it doesn't look like I got a lot cut off, but my layers had all grown out and stuff. But it was, like, a last-minute thing. I was just so sick of wearing my hair in braids or in ponytails. And so I finally just walked in, and I asked the lady at my usual salon if they could cut it. And luckily, there was somebody there that could, even though it wasn't my usual lady. And I was hoping that Lisa would be able to cut it next month or in April when I see her, but maybe she can. You know, maybe I'll want to go really short. But, um, 
Yeah, so I did get it cut. It looks it looks better when I like wash it and stuff. Like I didn't do anything to it after she did it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I don't really care. But um yeah, so I'll talk to you guys all later. Hope this wasn't too boring or too long. Like I said, I we always shop off season. It's like you get the best deals when you shop off season and style doesn't change that frequently, especially for things like jeans or guys' clothing and stuff that it really makes a difference. So I suggest you guys all look in the clearance sections on great days like President's Day or um, Memorial Day, stuff like that, because there's just really great deals. So I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.